Welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. We got some big things coming down the pipeline. We are going to get a new truck. And before that happened, I wanted to do a review on my 2014 GMC Sierra and let you guys know what I like and what I don't like about it and how it treated me over the years. So just want to do a quick video and show you guys the uh, Sierra and how I used it for uh, fishing and what not over the years so let's go check it out I blocked out my BMC logo I did that with flaccid dip I put a two inch leveling kit on the front and it has 20 inch Ultra wheels. Also equipped it with some Toyo 33 inch all terrain tires. Open country. Gives it a really nice stance. Really enjoyed that. Would I recommend doing it again? If you aren't worried about your gas mileage, then yes, the stance on it is amazing but if you're worried about gas mileage as soon as i jacked it up and put these bigger tires on there it went down quite a bit so keep that in mind when you're uh, putting a lift or a leveling kit on your truck it came with the aftermarket gmc tailpipe there i love this bed step right here and the grip on this handle it makes it really easy to get up here and work on stuff. I had this tonneau cover forever and it has like an 800 pound rating. It's by Encore tonneau covers. And what I did was I drilled four holes into it. I know that sounds crazy, but um, once it got old, I decided to drill four holes into it. And I have a rack that I put on top of there for my fishing adventures and it also held my kayaks so I don't have it on right now I'm going to show you a few pictures of that it's a pretty cool little rack that I had and Holds my rods and whatnot and keeps them from breaking. I really enjoyed that. I like being able to lock stuff up in here. The thing is you have to manually use your key. It doesn't have power locks. And I think that's changed since then, especially in the 2020s nowadays. It should have that in there. But I also blacked out my SLT and Sierra and GMC logo on the tailgate. Debadged all the dealership tags and I also relocated my 4x4 and Sierra logo on both sides. Uh, the 4x4 logo used to be right here. I moved it down there with the Sierra. Blacked that out. Decided to leave the chrome strip right here um, because it kind of matched my wheels, black and chrome right there. I know she's really dirty guys I didn't have time to clean her has power folding mirrors you can do that touch of a button with the key fob just hold the lock and unlock it's a pretty standard feature nowadays I put an aftermarket antenna on there I didn't like the big tall one especially when pulling into a garage it caused a lot of issues Let's take a look at the interior here First off, I know it's real dirty, but you gotta get the Husky liners. Um, I love having those in all my vehicles. It catches everything, keeps it off the carpet. It's really easy to pull out and clean. And when I go on my fishing adventures and you know hike up creeks and come back all muddy, it's really nice to know that you have those that can catch everything. It has a premium leather package. I believe this was a an additional cost extra feature from the factory the two colors together the gray and browns just look amazing 
has a little bit of Bose sound system and some wood paneling. Power seats. I like how these seats fold up and give me all sorts of space back here because that's usually how I drive around is like this. Got the Husky liners in the back here too. We would often put dogs back here. We have a, um, a mat that goes over the seats to protect them when we have dogs back here. It's a split system, two to one seating right here. One of the items I don't like back here, I know GM has fixed it since then, there is no heat or AC controls back here. So you're totally reliant on the front air conditioning to blow back here and I know it kind of gets hot. The other thing is your cooled seats, when you turn those on, blow hot air back here on the passengers. So that's kind of a, a negative item for that also. Let's go to the other side. Here's a view from the other side. LED lights up there. You got your tie down strap right here. Little fold out of cup holders. There's no cup holders up here. It's kind of unfortunate if you have three people sitting back here which usually never was a problem. But you got that right there. Always kept us up and used this area a lot. Um, just throw bags, luggage, all sorts of stuff in here. Fishing gear, fishing tackle, dogs, rifles, whatever. Up me, turn the power on here. Show you guys what I'm working with here. Okay, so going over the controls real quick. We got AC seats, heated seats, climate control, his and hers. Climate control with passenger. You can change that out or sync it up. Um, pedal adjusters, traction control, bed lighting, 120 volt plug in cigarette cigarette 12 volt I don't know why you need two of them and back in the 14s they offered three USB ports I know all the models up from here they don't have as many so um, I don't know why they changed that but in 2015 they actually changed a lot of features on this thing which uh, kind of upset me after I bought it in 2014. So uh, one of them was was I think N15. They came out with um, a wireless cell cell phone charging pad right here, and then I know the navigation was a little bit different on the 2015s also. I think a lot of people don't know, but this pops out. And there's like a secret compartment down there and it's sorry it's really dirty but you can also put this up here like so which i never really did i never really used this also i guess you could put like a handgun or something in there but i always kept this back like so in here lots of storage there's also USB, SD, and like an MP3 jack right there. Um, some, so another 12 volt outlet there. And lots of storage. Pin, put pens or files right here if you needed to. Never did that. Um, have dual glove compartments right here. This one was awesome. Sometimes I would lock things with your truck key in there. 
so I know it would stay safe. And then just your bottom glove box right there. Up here, you have your door on and that turns on all your lights and, or you can turn it off. I like keeping it off because when I'm out at night doing outdoor stuff, um, I don't like the lights to come on and all the bugs to come in and uh, especially mosquitoes and bite you. And then you got your garage door openers, your lights and a sunglasses case, which I never used because I didn't like it too much because it's really hard to fit sunglasses in there. So it really, I used it for other things, but for sunglasses, I really couldn't get it to fit. Um, it came with OnStar and automatic mirror dimming. Got your lights. Your mirror here. Uh, let's take a look through all the settings here. You have radio, Pandora, which was back in 2014. That was an awesome feature to get. And if you have Sirius satellite, which I don't anymore, the weather app was pretty nice too. OnStar, I don't use it. You can hook up your phone, which when I got this was the best thing ever to be able to do that and have hands-free Bluetooth usage and play the music off of your phone. It's really nice. In the settings, there's tons of features. I'm not really going to go over all that, but um, a lot of custom settings and when this came out in 2014 it was pretty uh pretty awesome to have all this all the light adjustments and in and out features for your seats and yada 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 it was it was freaking awesome back in 2014 that's why when i found this truck and saw the deal that was on it i had to jump on it and i bought it immediately uh I fell in love with this truck. The look of it um, was amazing. And back then, you know, I just had to have all these cool new features. Now everything's pretty standard and it's not that big of a deal to have some of this stuff now, but definitely uh, glad I purchased it. Um, a lot of people don't like the, the brake controller over here. I didn't have an issue with it because I could firmly keep my right hand on the wheel like so and keep control of the truck and reach over here with my left hand and hit this real quick and it was easy to adjust and whatnot. Uh, wasn't an issue for me. So here's your dimmer, light feature, fog lights, um, four wheel drive or auto all your controls right here mirror power fold um, automatic windows it's got his and her settings right here and it's got an exit setting and that's uh, the set button when you find it that also applies to the mirrors this mirror has auto dimming but that one doesn't I kind of wish that one did, but oh well. That 13.6 is a lot of city mileage. So in the city, I average about 13. And on the highway, I think I could get maybe 17, doing 80. If I was going slower, I definitely could break 20. Maybe like 65-ish, I could break 20 if I babied it. But it was pretty hard to get those kind of numbers. Um, this is your toggle switch voice commands right here uh, got a lot of features built into it here timer speed limit when you're driving down roads and you don't know what the speed limit that was nice to have I would often I don't have it plugged in right now but I used to have a like a USB stick plugged in I had a bunch of mp3 files on there you could easily browse through that and mess with that phone and then your navigation was just if you had a route enter it would tell you when to turn right there and then more settings this was like if you're speeding too fast based off of that 
navigation feature that told you how fast it was. That's how that would work. My screen just switched over to night mode, which was always nice. It gave it a nice dimmer um, screen. It wasn't so bright when uh, that was running. You got your manual gear shifting, tow haul mode, and then all your wiper blade settings right there. Overall, she was a really good truck for me. Um, I had one uh, breakdown where a the radiator weld cracked, leaked radiator fluid all over the place and caused the AC to quit working also. So that's probably the most expensive fi fix that I had for it. And um, other than that, that's, that's it. Uh, she ran good. Um, towed well the only reason why I'm getting rid of her is because I need something that can tow more if you guys follow the channel we tow horses dogs boats um, all over the country so uh, I really need something that can tow better and get good gas mileage I think this has a 23 24 gallon tank something like that and when I towed the horses with it it could average it could average maybe 200 miles before I needed to fill up again it also made like seven miles to the gallon that's one thing I don't like about GM is like the tow numbers seem to be a little bit lower than the competitors and I really want something that can power through and just really tow for me better so I will be getting a new truck here soon. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and I'll show you what I get. And I will post video of my new truck here in a little bit. I'm going to turn on all the lights right now and show you what I did with the lights while I can. And I'll pop the hood and show you the engine. put aftermarket LED lights up there which was awesome for camping and doing stuff at night outdoors also have LED lights in the bed and came with a bed liner which is awesome this tonneau covers a tri-fold just pull on that lift it up and fold it up and whatnot I replaced the stock halogen headlights and put in a bright LED and both of these and put in a really super bright fog light. Let me plug that in. Let me turn that on real quick. There we go. Those were amazing out in the country in those dark nights lighting up everything at where I needed to go let's pop the hood here this was the 5.7 liter v8 engine worked pretty well I'll have to admit though um, for the stuff that I do it's lacking some power I think it would have been a little bit nicer to have the uh, 6.2 liter V8 engine have that extra power extra get up and go and extra off-road capability to power through some stuff other than that it was a pretty good engine driving a hundred thousand miles uh, no issues the engine treated me really well so I put in aftermarket LED reverse lights this can light up the whole neighborhood right here so the reason I put in those aftermarket LED reverse lights was because when you're loading the boat up on the water at night this would illuminate everything and make it really easy to uh, load the boat up onto the trailer that was probably my best investment on this vehicle was those reverse lights one last thing I forgot to mention 
was it has a sunroof. Uh, it had the option for the power mirror, but wasn't able to get that. I bought this truck used in 2014. It only had a couple thousand miles on it. I love having sunroofs. I think it's a great feature to have. One of the things I did not like about it was there's like an accordion uh, plastic that broke over time and got in the way. So I ended up just taking it off. Um, I don't really know what the purpose of it is. It's probably some kind of wind control and it didn't do me any good. And I didn't notice a difference taking it off. So it's out of the way and it wasn't getting crunched up when I shut the sunroof or opened it anymore. So that was a good thing. Here's the cargo storage unit. And just shut that right down on top of it. Flip it up. It's got little dividers. Straps in over there. It's got a divider on that side and yeah, it was uh, nice, but when you have dogs, um, it got in the way so whenever I got dogs I ended up taking it out but going to go ahead and sell this with the vehicle along with all the mats and everything came with remote start key fobs pretty wore out it's getting pretty old at this stage you honk it twice and then hold the button down starts right up has these LED running lights right here. I always thought that was cool when they came out. And has running lights under the mirror right here. Lights up the ground right here. That was pretty nice. If you ever want to stop it, all you gotta do is hit the remote start again. Shuts it right off. So that's gonna do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my 2014 GMC Sierra. I know I did. I freaking love this truck and I would have drove it until the wheels fell off if I didn't need more towing capacity. So I'm going to go trade it in tomorrow more than likely and get a new truck. But you guys are going to have to wait to see what I will be purchasing and I will have that coming up in a future video. Make sure you subscribe so you guys can see that. And I will catch you on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outside and keep having fun with your truck. I'll catch you guys later.